Hello students. So now we will continue with the story of Nambi under the banyan tree. BA part 2nd, paper 2nd. Now I just wanted to read this from your text. That is given towards the, the end of your story. It says under the banyan tree is taken from the collection under the banyan tree and other stories. It is an interesting story about a storyteller Nambi who enraptures, enrapturing is controlling the mind, who enraptures his village audience with the gripping tales. Tales are stories. The author gives a graphic picture of the village Somal. This I explained to you in the last video also, how he describes each and every part of that village just to tell us about the plight of that village. So, author gives a graphic picture of the village, Somal, Nambi's daily routine. He also tells us what Nambi does in the village and his storytelling sessions. As if by some mutual unannounced agreement, villagers take upon themselves to cater to Nambi's needs for food and clothes in return for the entertainment or the entertaining tales that Nambi provides. So it is a kind of a give and take between them. <clears throat> Nambi's day to day uh, demands are taken care of by the villagers and Nambi in exchange is their sole entertainer. Nambi is old and eccentric but alert. The turning point in Nambi's life comes when he fails to concoct a story. Concoct means to make, to create. So he conco when fails to concoct a story and falls silent. Narayan has painted Nambi and his storytelling session with an undercurrent of humor. One feels desolate, however, along with the villagers to see Nambi fall silent losing his art of storytelling forever. I think, uh, let's go back to where we left in the last video. So, we were here that Nambi would tell stories. But what R.K. Narayan has done here, that he has compared two things in a man's life. On one side, he has compared, he has narrated the success and the way Nambi was the most loved person, Nambi was the most respected or the most repu reputable person of that village. And on the other side, when he loses the power of storytelling, so success on one side and failure on the other side. But here, R.K. Narayan has emphasized and we can take it as the character of Nambi that he accepts failure with grace. And for this again we go back to the story that one day when he had lit the lamp in the niche of the tree and all the villagers had come to listen to his story, Nambi tells the story for almost two hours. There was still one hour left, but suddenly he realizes as if he is losing grip over the story, as if he is not able to remember what he has to tell next. So he waits for some time, the story comes to him and he is able to give it a decent conclusion to that day's session and all the villagers they get up and they go to their house. After three, four days, again the lamp is there in the niche. The villagers come. But this time when Nambi comes to tell them the story, Nambi realizes that his memory has started failing him. He just narrates a few sentences, closes his eyes, tries to remember the story, but he is unable to utter anything. Again, villagers wait. The, those sitting right in the end, they start trailing, they start go leaving the place and Nambi for the first time realizes that it is age which has overtaken him, that his, his memory is failing, he will not be able to narrate the story, suddenly he realizes 
so the villagers once again go back next time this he sees that there are very few people who are there to listen to him and now the great realization has dawned upon nambi that the power of storytelling has left him he cannot tell stories anymore but he wants to give it a final trial or he wants to he wants to bid adieu bid farewell to his storytelling on a grand scale again so one day when in the evening he goes from house to house telling people that see i have a very very interesting story to tell and please all of you have to come to listen to my story so that day when all the villagers come to listen to him he tells them that from now onwards i am not going to speak i will be quiet because i have lost the power goddess has taken away the power from me it was her blessings it was because of her blessings that i was able to tell you the stories but now she does not want me to sit here as a storyteller so from today onwards i will not speak a word and i will not indulge in any story telling he gets up goes into the sanctum and shuts himself away from all the villagers after that nambi continues to live in that village but he does not talk to anybody whenever he is hungry he goes into any household which he takes fancy of the members of the house offer him food he comes and he stays in the temple and that is how this whole story ends that nambi has lost the power of story telling now uh, uh, what i had uh, told earlier to you was that rk narayan tells us the how a person feels when he is important how he tastes success how he basks in the glory of success but once he realizes that failure has come to him the best way is to accept the failure with grace and that's exactly what nambi does he stops talking he stops discussions he stops deliberations in the village he just sits like a dumb person who has accepted his fate and this is a very important part of nambi's character so this is all for today and now next in our next video we will discuss the short questions which are there in your story thank you